What's up everybody? So we're out cruising on the Suron, out ripping around on the Ron. So a little story. Yesterday I finally decided to uh, program the controller on the bike. I've owned the bike for just over a month now. Been riding it around stock, it's great. Decided, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it without the uh, regen on and see how that is. And I wanted to take my e-brake sensors off, so I, you know, put on the video that Luna has, refresh my memory on how to do it. Then I uh, plug my dongle thingy in, that little thing they give you, little stupid cord with the red light. And uh, plug it in, the light comes on, everything, whatever. I do the uh, eight pulls on my uh, thing here, one long one. Doesn't do anything at first. Then I realized, shit, my uh, kickstand was down, so I thought maybe that was the problem. So I put my kickstand up, tried it again, nothing happens. All I get is like the light just keeps blinking non stop. So I tried it about 20 more times. Nothing happened. I tried uh, different regen levels, you know, nothing was working. So I tried it without the dongle. Well, first I tried it without the dongle thing because like everybody said that you, you don't need that dongle. All it does is, is confirm that it works. So I tried it. No, it didn't work. Whatever. Tried it with the dongle. Didn't work. Tried it without it again. Didn't seem to work. I commented even on the Luna video, I said, as I noticed a lot of other people were having the same issue. They said it doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. So I commented, said it doesn't work. Basically, I gave up trying and went and took the bike out for another ride. As Soon as I got it out, I realized the throttle feels different. What's going on? Then I realized what's going on is my regen's turned off. So somewhere along the lines, uh, it did actually work. And now that I'm, I, I like the regen, but I'm not gonna lie without it. It's so much better. It's just amazing. So much better without it. Like, like they say, yeah, if you're going big hills and stuff, you might want that regen on, but try it without it. See if you like it. Also, I took the uh, my e-brake sensors off, so that's a lot uh, better as well. So basically, the point of the story is is you don't need that little dongle like Luna tells you you need it, you don't. All it does is uh, flash to confirm that it actually worked. Try it without the dongle, it works. Just write down the little codes or remember them. It's not that hard to remember. I remember uh, two short poles, one long is regen one, three short poles, one long is level two, four shorts, one long is level three. Eight short, one long will turn your uh, regen off. Or no, sorry, turn your e-brake sensors off. I believe it's seven short, one long turns the regen off. So, so basically you could do that while you're out and about like this. Like you could just, my regen's off right now. I'll put it on level one just to see how that is. So basically all you gotta do is one, two, hold it, one long count maybe one two three seconds let it off now it should be in level one regen um, if you're gonna change it again before you do that you got to turn the bike on and off but right now it should be on level one regen let's we'll try it and it's hard to tell I don't know what level one felt like before so it honestly kind of feels like it's off still I, I'm not really sure 
I'll try it again. I'll put it on level three. So turn the bike off, turn it on. We'll do one, two, three, four, one long. Hold it one, two, three, four. Let it out. Okay, we should be on level three regen now. And level three is really, uh, you'll notice if it's on, as soon as you let the throttle off, it'll slow you right down. Yeah, so see, there we go. It's turned back on. As you can see, yeah, the level three regen will slow you right down. Like you could be going 50, you let that throttle off and about 30 feet, it'll slow you down to about 20, no problem. See that? It is a cool feature, but I don't know, when you're out riding around, you let off the throttle, it just lurches you forward and it's kind of annoying. So I'm gonna play around with the regen. Try it, try it with it off, try it on level one. See what you like the best. Anyways, this is a little, uh, I was gonna say this is a little track that I made. I didn't make it, but I've been ripping around here. Nobody said anything. I thought maybe I shouldn't probably rip around here too much because there is a path right there. If I get going too fast, I don't want to shoot any stones up and hit anybody. So I just kind of cruise around here slowly. It's a bit of practice. Okay, so I'm going to turn the regen off again. So I'll turn the bike off, turn the bike on, and it's going to be eight short, one long. So now again, we don't have the little dongle plugged in, so we're not going to get any confirmation lights, but obviously when we ride it, we'll know if the regen is on or off because you can feel it. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hold it one two three four let it off we should be back to no regen let's try it out i'm not sure if it turned off there i'll have to check again hold on No, it didn't work that time. The regen's definitely on still. So we try it again. Turn it off. Oh, you know what, guys? I totally just screwed up. Eight, eight pulls was to turn the e-brake sensors off. I already have them turned off, so that's why it didn't work. Seven pulls is to turn regen off. Let's try that again. Turn the bike on. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, one long, two, three, four. Now regen should be off. And it is. Okay. Oh, this feels so much nicer. I mean, Try it with the regen. I didn't think I was gonna like it, honestly. I really got used to the regen, but then when you turn it off, you'll like it. <laughs> 